गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग एसेंट्रिसिटी मेथड ऑफ पैराबोला एलिप्स एंड हाइपरबोला एंड टुडे वी गो फॉर डिफरेंट अदर मेथड्स ऑफ पैराबोला ओके सो दीज थ्री मेथड्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टुडे वी विल गो फॉर दैट एंड क्लियरली वी विल सी सो हियर other methods of parabola are three types are there so one is rectangle method second one is parallelogram method and third one is tangent method okay so so many other methods are there in the different books but these three methods are very important and uh, uh, as per jain to curriculum these three methods the questions asking are these three methods only okay that's why we are discussing these three methods now we will go for different uh, methods so, so first we go for this uh, tangent method rectangle method first we go for rectangle method so in question uh, in question uh, by using rectangle method draw a parabola by using rectangle method draw a parabola of major axis assume that it is ab मेजर एक्स इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एम एम हंड्रेड एम एम एंड माइनर एक्सिस इज इक्वल टू माइनर एक्सिस इज इक्वल टू सपोज एटी एम एम ओके बायूजिंग दिस टू ड्रा ए पैराबोला बायूजिंग दिस रेक्टैंगल मेथड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ओके सो वन हेव टू डू फर्स्ट फर्स्ट गो फॉर टेक हंड्रेड एम एम हरिजेंटल लेंथ एंड वर्टिकल एटी एम एम लेंथ so this is major axis and this is minor axis with these two dimensions this is 100 mm this is 80 mm with these two dimensions make a rectangular box make a rectangular box not rectangle a rectangular box why because this is 100 mm this is 100 mm and uh, this is 80 mm id is 80 mm so give the number names a b c D, okay, A B C D, okay, A B C D. So A B is equal to 100 mm, and C D, not C D, is A C. This is A C. A C is equal to 100 mm. So A B C D, four sides are there. So first step, what you have to do, divide this, divide this into two equal halves. First step is divide this into two equal halves. So whatever the major axis is there so make it half so total 100 is given at 50 mm draw a vertical line and uh, now this is the 50 mm this is 50 mm and this is totally 80 mm so divide this 50 mm into equal number of parts and divide this total 80 mm into equal number of parts so 50 mm equal number of part means you can go for four parts five parts six parts as you wish suppose if you want to divide five equal number of part means so 1 2 3 Four five, okay. So give the numbering here. One, two, three, four, and five. In the same manner, this total, whatever the minor axis is there, half of the major axis we divide into equal number of parts, and vertically whatever the full minor axis is there, this is also divided into equal number of five parts. So total eighty mm we are dividing, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. We are not leaving. Any distance directly we can divide, or we can go for indirect method also. So indirect method we already discussed in the previous videos. That is geometrical constructions. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and this is five. Or you can go for one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Okay. In the same manner you go for this side also. We can go for this side also. So this also fifty mm. We are dividing equal number of five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And here also one, two, three, four, five. So give the numbering one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and this is five dash. So one dash, two dash, sorry, one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and this is five dash. And not dash. This is this is normal letters. Sir. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Project all the points. These all the points to this node point. So A, B, C, D. This is E, and this is F. This is F. This is F. 
So join this all 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash points. So join by a straight line to the E. So join E to 1 dash, E to 2 dash, E to 3 dash, E to 4 dash. And 5 dash already it is there. Okay. So in the same manner, join E to this side also. So E to 1 dash, E to 2 dash, E to 3 dash, E to 4 dash and 5 already it is there. Okay. Now, from this minor axis, major axis line, major axis line, from one vertical line, that vertical line should be parallel to this vertical line or this minor axis vertical line. Okay. So, project this line up to the 1 dash. So, 2 to project up to 2 dash. 3 project up to 3 dash. 4 project up to 4 dash. Okay. And mark the point, mark this points. So this is the first point, second point, third point, fourth point and this E is the fifth point. So now we can go for this is P1, this is P2, this is P3, this is P4 and this is P5. So five points we will get. Now join all these five points. So from the starting curve is A. So from A to P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. Okay, so join P1, P2, P3, P4 like that. In the same manner, same sequence go for this side also. It's transparent. Exactly it is transparent. So directly go for 1 to 1 dash, 2 to 2 dash. But these all vertical lines should be parallel lines. Parallel to this side, adjacent side. Okay. So third line and fourth line. So mark these all the points. So once again go for numbering same numbering and join this point also all the points so you will get a, a smooth curve so this curve is called this curve is called parabolic curve by using rectangle method okay is it clear next we go for okay next one is parallax run method so this is same similar as a previous method same similar as Rectangle method, but the only difference is here also we are taking AB major axis is equal to 100 mm, okay, and uh, uh, CD or um, AC is equal to 80 mm, and here additional parameter he gives that uh, for parameter tangent, tangent that angle, angle between these two major axis and minor axis angle is given 70 degrees, okay, he was the uh, Angle between these two is 70 degrees. So if angle is given, immediately you can catch that it is the parallelogram method. So if we name itself, it is not there. If we did not ask parabola, uh, parallelogram method, then also you can analyze that if angle is given, you can uh, say that it is parallelogram method. Okay. So how to construct parabola? See here. So first to draw the horizontal line, horizontal line, and uh, in the previous case, we took vertical line. So, horizontal line is 100 mm is given. So, A to B is 100 mm. Okay. And vertical line is 50, 80 mm is given. So, 80 we took like that. But here, angle is given. So, from this point to this point or this point to this point, you take 70 degrees. Okay. Angle between these two is 70 degrees. <coughs> right. Vertical line. First, you take vertically with a 2H pencil. And from here, you take 70 degrees. So, from here, 70 means... Uh, total 90 degrees now, so 20 you can take minus 20. Okay, so go for like that 20 degrees. So from here also you can take 20 degrees, and the length is 80 mm. Where the, you will get the 80, you mark that line and uh, remove all the remaining lines. So this is 70 mm, and here this is also 70 mm, 70 degrees, not mm, 70 degrees. Okay, so join this line, and uh, afterwards a similar same. Mark half of the point, mark half of the point, and join these two points. Okay, so this line also parallel to this line. Once again, same previous method. Go for number of sides. These sides, one, two, three, four, five. So suppose this is five sides. This is five sides. These also one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. In the previous case, same. So join this all the points. This E point. Join this point. This point. This point. This point. All the points. Here also same thing. In this side also, join all the points to this side. 
and project this all the points first point 1 up to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 dash 4 to 4 dash okay so here also 1 to 1 dash 2 to 2 dash 3 to 3 dash 4 to 4 dash now this all the points uh, you will get uh, and uh, join this all the points join all the points with a smooth curve then you will get a parabolic arc you can call it is it is a parabolic arc by rectangle method so rectangle method and uh, this uh, parallelogram method both are same only thing is angle change is given angle is given okay that you uh, take the angle and draw in a parallelogram and method is same rectangle method okay then you go for third one okay now this is third method tangent method in other methods of parabola this third method is tangent method so in the tangent method uh, so major axis is given uh, suppose assume that uh, uh, 90 mm my uh, major axis ab is equal to 90 mm and uh, and uh, minor axis is given minor axis is given cd is given uh, assume that 40 mm 40 mm okay or you can go for 30 mm as your wish 40 or 30 mm this two dimensions is given by using this tangent method you go draw the parabola okay so first to take uh, horizontal line the total length of the line is 100 mm we know that this is major axis ab is equal to 100 mm so take the center point of this and first to draw the axis line in this method first to draw the axis line <coughs> and uh, total from this point to so c assume that this point is c so c point to d is given height is 30 mm so mark the 30 mm where you are getting 30 mm so mark this 30 mm and this point name is d the point is d now this is a given data actually this is given data next what you have to procedure is whatever the minor axis length is given same amount of the length you take double so 30 is given now so take another 30 mm extra mark that point another 30 mm extra mark that point now join this point name is e why because c d e what we done here 30 mm is given by the axis take another 30 mm extra now join this e point e point and a by straight line now join this e point and b by a straight line so you will get a equal at triangle you will get triangle now divide this sides into equal number of parts a to e divide into equal number of parts and e to e, b also divide into equal number of parts suppose i am dividing indirect method or you can go for direct method also so from here i am draw inclined line and from here also i will draw inclined line so take equal number of parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as your wish here also say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now join this last two point to this last two point and uh, project all the parallel lines to the inclined line automatically you will get equal number of parts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here also same thing join this last point to last point and project all the parallel lines so automatically you will get equal lines so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay give the numbering now give the numbering suppose this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 7 and opposite side here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 7 now so 1 to 7 and this is 1 to 7 now what you have to do join this one point to one point by a straight line simple one to one by a straight line next to two to two is a straight line three to three is a straight line four to four five to five six to six already seven to seven it is there so join all the points by a straight line so while joining this all the points uh, the lines will touches and you must draw a curve by touching all the points outer points so from the point a draw the curve like that it must touch the all the points outer points all must touch the outer points tangent points and draw the curve 
so automatically you will get this directly you will get the parabola so this we can call it is tangent method okay so these three methods are very very important okay so dear friends so please follow this video and uh, like the video and uh, share everyone and uh, if anything if you are not clear it is not clear that any suggestions is there please give me in the form of a comment okay so please subscribe this channel and uh, see the linked videos all the linked videos thank you okay we will meet in the next video bye